guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm. Y'all, this new iced coffee stuff that I have. I'm not going to tell you about it because I think I'm going to do a review on it because it is fantastic. Mm. Mm. I love it. Okay, so today we're going to review these bad boys. These are the glitter... Glitter Rotsy Glitter Duos from Hard Candy. You can see them. I can get it right in the camera. Yep. Uh, they are supposed to be liquid eyeshadows. They're supposed to be like a glitter chrome finish and a foil finish. Um, I think it's supposed to be a chrome foil finish and then a glitter finish. Because I don't know how you do the other one. But anyway. So, um, we are going to review these. It gives a couple different ways you can do it. And I'm going to try one way on one eye and one way on another eye to see how it goes. This one, I love. It's kind of like a... It reminds me that it's, it's brown. Of course, it's brown. But it has almost a little purpley color to it. Mauvey color, if you will. And I love it. And then this is kind of like a rose gold with a little bit of brown in it too to kind of go with it. It's it's really pretty. Um, I'll uh, insert their swatches here in just a minute. Um, but this is really beautiful. And this is the color Aurora Skies. 1547 Aurora Skies is this one. You can see how pretty that is. Okay. All right. Next we have Ch -ch 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 -ch, Cosmo Queens, 1549. 50, yeah, 1549. Cosmo Queens. This one here is white, but it almost has like a blue duochrome finish to it. So it's kind of like depending on which way you look, it could have like a rainbow effect. Um, and of course, this was just like a baby pink glitter gloss topper. It's really, really pretty too, but... See that there and then that there. That looks really, really white in the camera. But there is, like you can tell, there's a blue, it's a blue tint to it. All right. Next one is Mercury Rising 1545. It is more of a burnt, a pale burnt orange, so to speak, if you can even do that, um, and a gold glitter topper. But the the foil one looked really like I'll insert swatches. You'll see. To me, it's orangey and yellowy and gold. Like it could pull all kinds of colors. But this would be great for like a sunflower look. Mm, I bet that would be really pretty. So, uh, that is that is Mercury Rising in 1545. That's also the number. So you can tell I've already done my base. Got my little lip gloss on because I was feeling a little dry. Um, because all we're pretty much going to do is play with eyeballs today. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I've already, I've already primed my eyes. Like I wanted to prime them, set them down, let that just kind of calm in because I don't want anything to interrupt. I want to give them the best shot that I can. Um, and these are by Hard Candy. I don't know if I mentioned that. Hard Candy makes these. So I think that I'm going to attempt to do a transition shade on this eye here. And then I'm going to play with putting this one 
over it and then a little glitter on it okay and then on this eye I am going to not do that I'm not gonna put any kind of transition shade at all whatsoever and I'm just gonna put this on and then the glitter on top of it yes the eyes are gonna look different but I want to see how it wears if it wears better with some kind of powder or some kind of eyeshadow underneath and then it sticks to it or if it sticks better to your actual eye if it creases that's kind of what we're looking for and um, I am going to do a check-in to let you know what that is after this video is um, is done I'm gonna you know kind of wear it through the day and then I'll insert uh, a video to that to let you kind of know what my thoughts are on that so we're gonna take the color pop yes please palette yes please because it kind of has the yellow gold kind of theme to it and we're going to put just a little transition shade now you may not be able to really tell a whole lot because it's a really it's a really pale color it's the champs but like i said i'm not trying to change the color of it i'm just trying to see if it if it affects how it wears if it affects if it creases or not so again we're just doing it on the one eye here i'm going to put it like I would a transition shade. Blend that in. Work it in. Work, 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 work. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have done that. Work it in. Alright. So you can tell there's a little something there. Just a little. Alright. So now we're gonna take I don't even know which each side doesn't really I guess have a color it's just this called mercury rising so I'm taking the foil side and it comes with a little doe foot applicator as you can tell and I'm gonna brush it across the eye here And I'm not going to go all the way up to the crease because I'm going to blend it up to the crease. Just kind of layering at this point. Get the opacity that I want. Alright. So now I'm going to take the exact same brush that I just had. Kind of blend that edge so it doesn't look as harsh. Okay. Well. It looked like it just kind of sweeped it away. Like my brush feels wet, but can you tell where it looks like it just, it completely like separated right there. Like what was underneath of it is completely gone. Well, that can't be good. See if we can doctor that up. Alright, so let me try to blend it with my finger. It's really patchy. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Now, nobody's really going to be able to tell how patchy it is unless they're like right up on you, you know? So, next I'm going to take the glitter portion of it and we're going to go, let's just do it right in the center. Right in the center here. Yeah, just right in the center. You really can't tell that's even anything. All it pretty much looks like is glitter. Just glitter. Alright. So that's that one. So let's try it on the eye that does not... Well, hold on. That's bothering me. Y'all, it just looks so patchy. Like, I can see it in the big mirror that I have here. Like, you can't really tell, but it's like, you know, really far away. Like, I can tell, like, there's, like, a spot that's missing. Could just be this color. Could just be this color. But, now I'm going to take, again, the foil part and just kind of put over here. Alright, it does better if you try to blend it with 
of the dough, but which is, you know, probably what it's there for. Um, it definitely is laid down a lot better than the first eye. Okay. So we're not going to use a brush on that or anything. It's our fingers. And there's not really a harsh line like I thought there could be. But anyway, so now we're going to take the glitter part. The glitter part. Put it right in the middle. Yeah. Not mad at that. So, initial reaction is, it's better if you don't use a brush. Now, I can't say if the powder had anything to do with it or the fact that I tried to blend it with a brush. So, we're just going to say that either one of those did not work well. I'm not mad at this right here. Initial reaction. I don't know how it's going to wear later. But, I'm going to try that. Now, there is something non-conventional that I kind of want to do. So, y'all don't laugh at me. Take this. Off my lips here. Because I love me a good brown color on my lips. Oh, let me just say this. The glitter, I believe, is going to stay for a few days. The reason I say that is because I did these swatches before I started the video. And my hand, I have wiped it, and I have I've done a baby wipe, I washed it under water, I've used a towel, and I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to see if you can tell in the camera. No, well, there's a little bit of glitter you see here, but it's everywhere all over my hand. It looks like I took a spray bottle of glitter and gone. Oh, hi. I got a lot of glitter. Anyway, I'm going to try something. Good gracious. That is dark. Definitely should have used a liner. Oh my gosh. That looks horrible. <gasps> You know, sometimes you just gotta play. Oh my gosh. Y'all. It was horrible. <laughs> ah! Make me put some glitter on top of it. Let's just see how this goes with some glitter on it. It's really dry. <laughs> yeah, like it's dried down. My gosh, it burns. PSA, don't put this on your lips. And look, the glitter is taking it off of my lip. The glitter is pure taking it off my lip. Okay, so that's good to know for your eyes. And you know, while we're, we've already gone down a rabbit hole, y'all, let's just keep going. Let's see if it gets... I don't want to get it on here. That would cause an even bigger problem. Let's see. If I have a lip... Aha. Nope, that's eyebrow. Let's not do that. Here we go. Take another little brush. Kind of get some stuffies off. Get it all up in there. See, look, y'all. It's blue. Good gracious. Rough. Rough. Let's now go take the glitter and play. I'm just tapping it on there. So Halloween. <laughs> and I do this. Alright, y'all. 
That looks horrible. I know it's not meant for your lips. Don't come for me. I know that. I was just playing with it. Woo. That gotta go. That gotta go. Like, I can't even deal. That burned my lips, y'all. Like, it's still burning. And look at all that glitter. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Alright, we're just going to go back with my little Ofra lip gloss that made me feel better. And this is lip gloss in the color Baby Doll from Ofra. And it just feels so good. And the longer it stays, the little bit more pigment it gives. It's really, it's really tacky, but it just makes my lips feel good. Okay, so anyway, so so far after we've sat here for 10 more minutes, this eye just looks like crap. There's just, it's all separated right there. It just looks like crap. This one I'm not mad at so far. How it wears, I don't know. All that glitter. And anyway, so that's that for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go finish my makeup. And um, I'll come back and check in with you guys later and let y'all know how the eye look kind of wore throughout the day. And um, I'll check y'all in a little while. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm coming to the check-in now uh, for the glitter Glitterazzi from uh, Heart Candy. The the eye liquid shadows. I don't know why I can't talk today. Um, as you can see, makeup's about worn off. Um, I went ahead, I took my lashes off and realized, crap, I hadn't even done my check-in. So, um, let's see, how many hours has it been? I did 9, 10, 12, 12. Okay, it's been about 6 hours. The original eye that we did still looks like crap. The other eye I don't want to say crap because it's better than this one, but it is the beginning of crap. Like it's creasing and all that, but so my thought is this. If you've invested already in this product, now mind you, I think it's seven bucks. I think it is. Um, if you're going out on the town, you know, like and the lights are going to be low, um, maybe disco lights or something like this would be cool because you know your eyes would glitter off of those You know strobe lights or, or whatever that would be cool now if you're gonna go to work and you Are thinking about wanting to wear try something like this then I would invest a little bit into the Huda Beauty Huda Beauty matte and metal metal shadows these things are gold like I love these and um, I, I would definitely prefer this over any one of these any day for a daytime look now like I said if you're if it's gonna be nighttime or even if you're going for a night swim and you don't mind like oh sorry y'all if you're going for a night swim and you don't mind um, these are fine these are fine for that if you're just trying to play around with makeup and get you some cute little funky pictures and stuff use them but don't use a brush use your finger um, or use the doe foot applicator that comes in it. And, sorry, I just tried to fix my head. And I'm just not having a good hair day. Like, it's just not having a good hair day. But, um, anyway. So, don't throw them away. You know, don't give them to your sister's friend that you don't like just because you want her to look stupid. Okay, just, you know, try to make lemons out of lemonade. No, lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> sorry, I was late. Alright, so, um, thanks for stopping by and watching. Like I said, if you want to, um, if you like stuff like this, you know, hit the subscribe button. Talk to me. Hang out with me in the comment section. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Makeup and Shine, but without the A and and, so it's Makeup, ND, Shine. Um, you want to find me on Facebook, Makeup, ND, Shine. Um, and just talk to me. Let me know what you want to see. 
I'm going to do some more stuff about like ingredients and you know what are some of the good things what are some of the bad things I'm just trying to get like a whole list together so it's not just like a quick little thing like I want to be lengthy but if you have some things that you want to see as far as what what is what are the ingredients in this crap that I use on my face every day talk to me let's talk about it anyway guys thanks for watching and I'm going to go take this makeup off and get snuggly